Hello everyone, my name is Sherry and I'm here to say welcome from your host CPOC, Communities to Protect Our Coast. We have a very full and exciting evening for you. A few more words about our organization later, but let's start off with an excerpt from a film by Andrew Barton, who has traveled the pipeline route and recorded quotes from the National Energy Board hearings. He's just flown in from Kelowna to be with us tonight. So let's the show begin. that film. Thank you, Andrew, for being here and thank you for showing this to us. Once again, welcome. We would like to recognize the First Nations people who are in attendance tonight from the coastal Salish, Snonois, and Qualicum traditional territories. And to our many allies who already know Seapot, thank you for coming out tonight. Your support is so needed and so appreciated. And we have some new visitors and guests, so just a few words about CPOC to you. CPOC is Communities to Protect Our Coast, and we began about a year and a half ago when like-minded citizens joined in a cycle together to go from Campbell River all the way down to Victoria to the legislature. And we stopped along the way and with our advocacy to, for the coast, we handed out pamphlets and started petitions. And, wow, that was a year and a half ago. I think we've grown since then. Since then, we've held many events of our own and reached out to other citizens groups and environmental organizations. And over the last 18 months, we've not only grown in size, we've matured. And I think we're now a wise and dedicated and informed group of citizens with a singleness of purpose, and that's to stop irreparable harm to our coastline. If we succeed, future generations are going to thank us. And now I would like to introduce our own island activist, all the way from Courtney, Todd Butler. Give him a hand. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Good. Before I get to the oil, I want to share this with you. has come, start spreading the news, I got the globalization blues. Some will win and some will lose in the globalization blues. Lost your job, don't you fuss, everything's cheap at sweatshops are us, and we're a name that you can't trust, that's the globalization blues. Lots of garbage you can't use in the globalization blues. Children making your running shoes, that's globalization blues. Splicing jeans, so much fun, 30 years to see the damage done. There's a little McDonald's in everyone, that's globalization blues. For you to choose in the globalization blues. Don't believe that evening news, that's globalization blues. They have a plan, they want to keep the best part of your brain asleep. Are you a wolf or just another sheep? That's globalization, sweep of the nation, globalization blues. Now, on the subject of uh, tankers, this seemed like the perfect parody. <laughs> Legend lives on from Prince Rupert on down to fill many large tankers with oil. is a mistake because all it will take is one spill and our coastline is spoiled. Well, Thirteen verses hanging in. <laughs> the oil industry simply refused to see that we don't want this plan that they're building. 
But it seems to me they are blinded by greed and would risk the future of our children. Kind of a happy little number. It's our duty and right to stand up and fight before ruined shorelines we are counted. So let's all join hands and take a firm stand against Kinder Morgan and Bridge and Trans Mountain. Now this next uh, this next piece is usually done a lot faster, but um, I'm going to do it slow tonight so that for two reasons so that you can hear all the words and that's so I won't screw up too many of them. I am the very model of a really frightened citizen. I'm talking about oil spills, carcinogens, and bitumen. And volatile diulent destroying the environment. I am really frightened and I refuse to be silent. <laughs> they want to ship the tar sands bitumen over to Asia. And you are in denial if the reason doesn't phase ya. They can make more money than shipping it to the USA And when there's a catastrophe, we will be the ones who pay <laughs> So far, so good <laughs> Our First Nations community are taking a noble stand They have got so much to lose when oil spills onto their land The oil industry is getting rich and lobbying so hard I notice there's no plan to put a pipeline through Harper's Yard. <laughs> the risk to the environment is really unacceptable. Yet many a Canadian has been become quite susceptible to all the propaganda that is spewing from the PMO. Harper's in the pocket of the oil industry, you know. Transportational and oil sales profitable. The greed of this industry is something I find pitiful. And volatile, diluent, carcinogenic bitumen. I am the very model of a really frightened citizen. Well, on the subject of the uh, Prime Minister. If you wanna get 
just a guy, Rob Ford. <laughs> I got one more quick one for you. I want to be a senator that I can really slack off. I wouldn't have to work, I'd be just another jerk. Feet at the government trough. I'll be feet at the government trough. Let me hear you. Nice. Slop in the swill up on Parliament Hill. Feet at the government trough. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Don't forget to speak out if someone's going to speak for you.